What's going on guys? Patrick here with CertifiedTenor.com and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to take the, uh, the sweeps out of this 2019 Ram 1500. Alright, so this truck's a little bit different than the 18 model. The 18 model had pins that you would have to uh, remove first uh, on the sides and then you could pull the pull pillar off of the old series. Um, with the 2019 model, you don't have to. You basically pull straight back and I'm going to show you exactly how it is. Alright, so with the front door, all you're going to have to do is you're just going to grab the top portion of the panel and you're just popping the top back enough. This is still connected here and here at the door handle. So you're just gonna pull back just enough so it pops the, uh, the little clips and then you'll be able to pull it out. So here we go. And that's it. And as you can see these little clips right here. And then from here, all you have to do is you can just get your finger in here and just pull the sweep out just like that. And just pull it from the back. And then you can pull back just a little bit on the front end. Let's see here. Just pull back a little bit on the front end to be able to pull that out. And these are real simple, real easy, and you can go ahead and just slide them right back in. When you put them back in, you can just start from the front, uh, from about midsection here, slide up to the front, and then push down. And then make sure the tabs are lined back up. Push straight forward, you're good to go. Same thing, you can go ahead and pull, get your fingers on. Up up on the top and pull a little bit just enough to pull that back out right here and again these ones and it looks like this bottom clip is the one you want to keep an eye on make sure it's lined up when you're uh, putting them back in but from here you're just going to pull the sweep from the back end that's it and you can pull this front end just a little bit but there is a clip right here so you don't you can't be yanking too far off on it because this clip is holding it you can take that panel off if you want and release that screw, but there's really no need, as you can see. And to put it back in, you can just slide it in. And notice that I'm not even having to wet this down. It's a real easy install. And then just make sure that these clips are lined back up. All you have to do is push forward. You're good to go. All right, guys, I just wanted to add a couple things in to this video that I did not shoot at the time that I had the vehicle. Um, one thing that this vehicle is the 2019 Dodge Ram 1500 model. Um, this one has the huge touchscreen in the front end. Um, there are 2019 models that don't have that. I thought all 2019 models, the new models, had the touchscreen. So some of the 19 models have that touchscreen, some of them do not. But be aware that uh, it could be one or the other and I'm not 100% sure which one it is, or both. Let's just assume it's both. Um, but the electronics that are the control, either the touchpads and all the other electronic stuff, even if there is no, no touchpad in there, um, is right underneath the deck, the front deck. And this is more important uh, for people that are going to be doing front windshields. Um, you have to be very careful in regards to how much water you're you're using when you're installing a front windshield. Um, and this is a more of a full front windshield, not just a strip. And um, so make sure that you are using something like a soak shield um, and minimizing the amount of water you use because um, the warnings that we had were that it could cost up to $1,700 to be able to repair all the damages that could occur from water damage. Besides that, um, the front windows, the side windows, the back windows, oops, excuse me. The front windows, the side windows, the back windows, they pretty much are standard. I don't shrink them, I just bottom load them. Um, and even if I was top loading them, I still wouldn't shrink the side windows. There's just not a lot of curve to them. Back windows, same same situation. I believe I had to do a little bit of trimming um, and that was because I, I use a plotter. So um, when the patterns first come out, most of the time they could be yeah, and they could be a little off and it is what it is and they get a little bit better with time um, but I believe I did have to trim like uh, on top or on bottom but um, besides that that's all the warnings that I have for you on this particular vehicle all right guys that's gonna wrap for, for this video make sure to check out all the other videos that we have within the video library and we will see you next time